Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's do a border now that looks like a frame, like a wooden frame, with using a gradient to simulate a, a shading effect from the lights and so on. So we'll start off with a rectangle. Start off, just draw it in the middle like this. Then what we want is a gradient across this. So we'll go to the gradient tool, we'll draw across it like that and then to edit let's go back to this one here go to the fill and we're going to go from say white to we'll make it a brown i've got the hsl color wheel here which is down in here so i'm going to go around to kind of orange and then go back within this back towards black and it goes browner like that along the edge so pick something that you like then this is okay so i can just click outside there then go to the move tool i can bring it down here and the reason i started off it's easier to draw a gradient on a big shape so i'm going to make it really narrow down here so i'll put that down there to me yeah, about there that'll do now i'm going to got it up here as a layer there so Control j gets me a duplicate and i can bring this up here to the top but i want to rotate that or flip it so i can go to arrange and flip vertical there we go that's it now then i want to put ones down the side so i'll do a control j again and i'll drag this one up and i'll rotate it another way you can rotate is to go to here and hit the shift key because that starts to rotate around like that i've got to go out here a bit to get to the ends to pull this in could have done that before i suppose and then bring this across uh, it goes onto there notice by the way i've got snapping set here without snapping it becomes difficult to control zero there are that's better now then i might like to make a mitered corner here like this so the way to do that is to go to convert to curves first Nothing seems to happen, but it, it now is a curve, see it there, as opposed to a rectangle. So I go back over here, and where you've got the pen tool, go to the node tool. Now, if I hold the shift key and go down again to stop it wandering out, it'll snap into that corner. I do the same with this one here, shift, click, and snap that in like this. By the way, these rectangles I'm using here, make sure the stroke here has got none on it. So back to the move tool here and control J to duplicate that. And then I'll drag this across to the other side there and flip it. So arrange, flip horizontal. And there we go. There is a kind of wooden looking frame. So what else can we do? Well, one thing is to do, imagine there's a light source up the top here, then you'd really want the outside of these to be light as opposed to the inside. Very, very easy to do. We just click on this, go to the fill, and reverse it. Same with the other one there. Go to the fill there, and reverse that. And now we've got a, like there's a light source coming down here. It's lighting there and lighting there. Also, what we've done here is we have um we put the border inside so you really to do this you need to have a bit of the edge or the photograph which you can lose what do we want the whole thing to go to the edge so we want to put this outside so i'm going to control roll the mouse wheel in to get this a bit of outside here go to the crop tool and go pretty well outside this so this is going to expand the canvas we're going to come back in again later so don't worry so and apply that so now we're in the middle now we can go to the move tool and we can move this out here so these are now on the outside but we need to stretch them to fit so i can stretch that one to fit there stretch that one to fit and these i can move up to the corner and on stretch these down here However, when doing this, just a little thing to watch for is if you go right into the corner there, it doesn't quite fit because it's been stretched. 
So if I go to the node tool again, click on this, I can just pull this in again. Holding the shift key down if you like to make sure it snaps properly. Then I can look up here. There we go. That one needs coming up. It doesn't really need the shift tool here because you've got the at least the auto snap will do it. And cross to the other corner. Here we go. And down to the bottom. Control zero. There we go. Now I want to crop back in again. However, I meet a problem here because even with the snapping on, this won't snap to the edge there. So I won't get that accurate. But there is a trick I can do here to force it. And that's to use guidelines. If I do view, I'm going to make sure that show rulers is on. But now, when I'm with this ruler here, using the move tool, I just click in there and drag, and it drags out a little blue line. And just and that will snap to the edges. And I can do the same on the other side. There we go. That snapped. Now, when I use the crop tool, that will snap to those blue lines. There we go. We've tricked it into doing what we want. Now when we apply that, and there you go, you've now got the nice border around with it with the light on it, but it's outside the image, it's not taking up space inside. There we go, hope that was fun and thank you very much for watching.